Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is CarQ. Welcome. Today is August 24th, 2020, and a new experimental patch has hit us big in Overwatch. Apparently, there's a lot of DPS nerfs, support nerfs, and tank buffs to make up for this past week of chaos where we've only seen Zarya and Roadhog running around and ranked all the past week. So, let's see what they did. Apparently, it's a big one. It's a big one. Okay, August 24th, 2020, experimental mode. By the way, this is only experimental. This may not go live, obviously, um, because these are pretty drastic changes just to see, um, you know, what the community thinks. And I'll be, I'll be giving my thoughts. So first thing they're going to do is, or first thing they've done, sorry, is reduce beam type damage against armor health pools, increase from 20 to 30%. Basically, based off my understanding, who are the beam type heroes in the game? Zarya beam. Symmetra Beam. Maybe Coalescence. Right? From Moira. I'm not sure if Winston would count. But this is not a buff. This is a nerf. Beam type damage. There's basically a damage reduction. Instead of against armor, it'll be 30% damage reduction instead of 20 with beam. Basically, if I'm Azaria and I'm trying to laser down the armor half of Orisa's HP pool, it will do... 30 it'd have 30 percent damage reduction instead of 20 if that makes any sense okay <clears throat> oh yeah there's an echo beam as well so that's basically what that means so it makes all heroes with armor a bit more effective against more heroes and heroes with armor are like what torb brig and almost every tank has armor except like zarya and hog but most tanks have it basically just buffing tanks most tanks overall and a nerf biotic rifle 14 to 12 <sighs> that's okay it's not the end of the world surprised they touched anna but i guess she's the most played support hero she used to have 10 amp she used to have like 10 shots did she ever did she, did she ever have eight to start i know she had 10 for a while they buffed her to 14 now they're putting her back to 12 okay whatever i think just um being able to manage your 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 ammo pool a bit better might be a bit more important, but it's not going to gut her by any stretch. She did have eight on release. That's crazy. Okay. <clears throat> um, Ash. Okay, finally we get some Ash nerfs. Ash got buffed like three, four times in a row, and then she became super powerful, and now they're tuning her back down. She was at 12 shots, and they buffed her to 15 shots. Now they're putting her back to 12. They're keeping that animation cancel between unscope to scope thing, which is still a buff, and then they're reducing damage from 85 to 80 on the aim down sight damage. Now, this is important for damage breakpoints, I believe, because previously, if you have 85 damage and you headshot, that's 170, and then if you have the mercy pocket with the damage boost, what's one... Mercy damage boost is 30%. 170 times 1.3, which is 30%, is like... 220 I think something along those lines basically previously if you were damage boosted as ash you can headshot melee someone or headshot unscope shot immediately and kill a 250 hp hero now if this is reduced to 80 80 times 2 for a headshot is 160 times a damage boosted mercy 160 times 1.3 I think you're still okay 208 damage if my math is correct yeah 208 um that's still one shotting so this is okay but remember um ash does have damage drop off past certain distances so that does change those break points a little bit but this is okay it's not going to kill her i still think she's pretty good hey baptiste changes biotic launcher grenade ammo instead of having 12 heal shots you have to do 10 so you have to reload more often which may reduce overall like healing output a little bit okay not bad but the biggest change here is regenerative burst total healing reduced from 150 to 75 that's cutting it in half that is very very significant but honestly regenerative burst was a pretty strong ability everybody around you when you play double shield and everyone's clumped up you just press literally one button and you can heal 150 times however let's just say in that double shield meta all six of your teammates including yourself are close together 150 times six is a lot of healing with one button Let's be real here. Um, this is a pretty big nerf, though. 
Uh, and now Baptiste does receive twice as much healing from Regenerative Earth. So this is just going to encourage you to use it for yourself to keep yourself alive a bit more. Um, oh, wait. This is just like how it is currently because it's 150 to 75, but then now it receives twice as much. So he just receives 150. So this is how it basically Baptiste keeps 150 healing for himself, but everybody else around him gets 75. Yeah. Okay. It's just the same for him. Bad for everybody else. Now, this is actually three nerfs in one. It looks like there's two nerfs, but it's actually three. Because the fact that you have to reload more often and half healing for your team means that you build your um, amplification matrix slower because your healing output is actually reduced. So not only are you nerfing ammo, you're not only nerfing healing, you're also nerfing the rate in which you build your ultimate. But honestly speaking, he already built it way too fucking fast. I'm going to be honest. I felt it was a little strong because like every fight I could have my amplification matrix. I had my window every fight. So this will be tough though. This is going to definitely nerf Baptiste, but I still think he's like pretty good. He's got a lot in his kit an immortality field, pretty decent damage fire rate on his primary fire. Regenerative burst is kind of bad now, but well, not bad, but nerfed immortality field is still pretty good. I don't know. His kit is still pretty loaded. Amp matrix used correctly is still good. Tough, tough. I think Anna will definitely be, be, be more meta. Um, drunk rat nerf. I'm kind of surprised. Impact damage reduced from 50 to 40. So now he does 120. Yeah. Um, he won't break as many shields, but like, I mean, 120 to the face. How much is a, how much is a mine do? Does that change anything? That's what I want to know. A mine still does 120 at close range. So, I mean, you were able to 130 plus 120. You just basically can't one-shot 250 HP heroes like Reaper, May. Um, but that's not too big of a deal, I think. That's only if your mine is perfect. But a lot of times, like... Uh, I think Junkrat's fine. This is not too bad. Um, McCree. Primary fire recovery increase from 0.42 to point. Five. that's a nerf basically it means the, the the time between each shot is instead of 0.42 it's now 0.5 now this is nerfing it um for slower shots basically it doesn't look like much when you read it in the patch notes but i'll show you guys in game what it feels like after and this is almost like old mccree old mccree back in the day was like pew, 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 pew. but new mccree was like pew. And then now 0.5 is probably like something in between. Because I think old McCree was like 0.6. So now it's like... Pew, 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 pew. Or something like that. This is still in between old McCree and new McCree. I'm surprised they touched them though. They're probably thinking, okay, if we nerf Ash, McCree will be the hit scan again. But... Alright. Uh, next one is Moira. Oh my god, this is loaded. Lingering heal reduced from four seconds to two seconds. So this was actually a really good tactic to kind of like get residual healing on people without using too much of your uh, healing juice. Like your tanks are in a poke phase. You just kind of like tap them a little bit with a bit of heal and then they'll heal like 65 over the next few seconds. So this this will nerf like uh, poke phase, but the healing per second in the middle, like actually holding the button down will be increased from 65 to 70, which means in the middle of a fight and you hold the button down, it'll actually be a bit stronger but at the cost of having your healing resource consumption rate 27% nerf. 11 to 14 doesn't look like much. When you look at it percentage-wise, that's how it'll feel. It'll basically deplete a quarter faster, which is kind of big. Um, and then the attach angle and the damage reduced by 37%. Basically, it's not as forgiving, um, which is, you know... Bad for people with bad tracking. But anybody with half decent tracking probably wouldn't find this to, to be too bad. So this is actually not as bad as it looks, as long as your tracking is decent. So any of my bad 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 aim Moira mains are uh, are sweating right now. Not calling anybody out, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but however, at the cost of this though, your healing resource gain rate does get increased by fifty percent. But listen, if you guys. Are, you know, if you guys are avid car Q video watchers, you would already know the secret and trick to get your healing resource gain at a fast rate regardless. You guys know what I'm talking about? 
the secret uh, multiple fast input trick and then you build your resource rate 50% faster. You didn't know about that trick? What are you guys doing? Are you guys even subscribed to me? <laughs> Have you guys even seen the one Moira tip for every hero? I fully explained it right at the beginning. For those who don't know, half of you guys are like, I do, I know it. Anyways, this basically means this basically means that that trick is out the window now. Um, because 50% increase just basically means it's the same as the trick, and you get to keep doing the more dan the, the 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 base rate of damage. So um this will be pretty good. This will help you deal with more um help you manage your your resources a bit more and learn how to balance damage versus healing and you get more healing juice back. You know what? This was a lot of work. This was a lot to consume, but it's actually not as bad. It actually adds more skill to it because you have to do more management of um, all your resources, which is a very important skill in Overwatch. That's a mechanic, guys. Hope you guys know that. Ability management is part of my definition of Overwatch mechanics. Everybody thinks, oh, you have great Overwatch mechanics. People just think it's aim. But in Overwatch, I think mechanics involve ability management ability usage slash resource management obviously your aims like tracking flicking whatever and your movement there's three components to it i'll talk more about that uh, in a separate video in the future um arisa buffs because arisa got gutted last week in the previous patch radius increase back okay but they reduced projectile speed because it felt like a lot of people weren't able to even like get the pull so they're increasing the radius again okay they didn't touch anything else, although base, remember we did talk how base armor does have better damage reduction against uh, beam, so. Okay, not bad. Uh, recovery, so they're nerfing Farah, surprisingly. I don't think anybody even thought Farah was OP by any stretch, but okay, now that she can't shoot as fast. But I think most Farah players will be like, eh, it's not too bad because it's usually better to kind of like space out your shots a bit more to kind of read movement, because if you spam them too quickly, I don't know. Actually, I'm not, I'm not a fair player. I'm just putting words in fair players' mouths at this point. Oh, it's the old fire rate. Okay. Oh, yeah. Farm Mercy and lower elo. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> Farm Mercy is a, is a problem for um, console and I guess lower elos. My bad. I'm a, I'm a very biased opinion. Guys, if you come here and listen to my opinion, it is very biased. Let's be real. I'm trying to think about it from all perspectives, but... I'm Omega biased, but trying not to be. Don't get suspicious. Thank you for the two months and Fitzy with the giant raid. I'm sure you already went through this uh, this patch note, didn't you? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts, Fitzy? Thank you for the huge uh, the huge host, by the way. I'm still feeling good after our crown, the Fall Guys crown. I've been in a good mood all weekend. <laughs> Thank you again, man. I really appreciate it. What's up, Super Secret Sombra Squatters? You guys are going to be in my, my YouTube video. I'm doing Patch Note Breakdown. It's going to be up on, on the second channel in like a few hours. So whoever's chatting right now below, do you see your... your the only reason... I don't normally have Twitch chat in my games, but since I'm talking Patch Notes, it'll go on the second channel. You're, aside, they, you're surprised they didn't touch Hog. Uh, I, I think it's okay that they didn't touch Hog. I think t changing every... Changing everything else here will... Um, kind of make hog be less played regardless apple casserole thank you for the prime among us is there a group all right i'm down though i'm down um okay thank you apple casserole let's continue symmetra this is a double nerf i'm surprised they're actually nerfing her max damage from 140 to 120 now they're it's you have to compile that with the fact that armor reduction against um health pools is also increased as well that's a double nerf but Realistically, if you ever get to third third phase Symmetra Beam, it is quite powerful to the point where like you're kind of untouchable. So I'm surprised they're actually nerfing this though. Because it's already hard enough to get to a level three beam. Sure. She does do a lot of damage though. I'll be honest. Oh, this is only the right click, not beam. Oh shoot. Okay, my fault, my fault. Oh, the little circle, the big spheres that she tosses out. Is Mora considered beam? I think it's a coalescence, mostly. Interesting. They're nerfing burst damage. Widowmaker nerfs. Now, this is what everyone's talking about. Max ammo increase 30 to 35, but your scoped cost now increases from 3 to 5. So, previously, 3 shots, 3 ammo consumption per scope shot with 30 means 10 shots. Now, this means you can only shoot 7 shots before reloading. But, 
If you SMG, you're a little bit better. Widow 76 is where you at, man. Come on out. And also the biggest change here, fall off damage. 50% fall off damage from 60 to 85 meters. Honestly speaking though, 85 meters is pretty far. But this will be a big nerf to Widows on Junker Town. Oh my god. It is really far though, realistically speaking, but what are what are the what are what are what are long range maps? Junker Town with Widow. Maybe Elios Ruins. Oh Havana, yes. Havana. God. I actually don't think Havana first would be a problem. But this is only 50% damage reduction. Remember, if you guys charge your scope shot to 100%, that's a 300 damage headshot. Like, this will just change it so you can't scope to like 60% or 70% charge and get that one shot on the 200 HP target. Like, if you're at this, like, if you're touching that fall off damage part, you could um, just charge to 100% and it might make up for this a little bit depending on the distance. If you're at max range, though, even with 100% scope charge, that would do 150. So, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Okay, and then Zarya. Secondary fire ammo cost increased from 20 to 25. This is also a nerf, too, because she would be able to shoot five shots. Now she shoots four, and then you you weave your beam in between each shot. Oh, my goodness. This is a ginormous patch. All right, let's try some of this. Let me just see how some of this feels really quick. This will also be still in the um, in the video, by the way. Okay. Let's go aim trainer. I like PMA Jelly's aim trainer. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I like his workshop or uh, his practice range 2.2. Then you go settings, lobby, um, experimental, yes. Is Zarya now garbage? No, this is how Zarya used to be, by the way. This is not 100% though, it is experimental. Um, first thing is, let's go down the list from left to right. So Orisa got touched. It's a bit more reasonable in terms of like, the projectile speed's slower, but the pull radius is a bit more like how it used to be. That's still pretty good. Okay, gave some power back there. Zarya, only four shots now before you have to reload. So if you go one, two, three, four, ah, you can just, you have to be more careful like shooting your beam in between your shots. Okay, not bad. Ash, 12 shots now, but the, the buff where you can do unscope into scope is still existing, so you can pew, 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 pew. Right? Oh wait, does that change, does that mean it changes the breakpoint for doing this? If I go... Unscoped into headshot. No, it's still good. Hmm. Okay, that's still good. Um. Okay. Ash definitely deserved nerfs, I think, but not too bad. Let's check out McCree's fire rate. Oh, it really does feel like old McCree. Oh my goodness. Oh. Old McCree. It's no longer machine gun. Okay, you kind of have to just like aim each shot because like when the McCree uh, buffs first came in and he was like firing like a machine gun, I remember Wanted said it really felt like you're tracking more so than aiming in between each shot. Just because it shot so fast, you kind of just have to keep moving your crosshair with them. But for this one, since it's a bit more spaced out, you get to like flick each one a bit more, right? Depends on your play style. Pharah nerfs, this is how it used to be. One. 70.7 recovery to 0.85. Four. Uh, I think it's okay. 
Junkrat? Oh yeah, Junkrat. It just changes the uh, from 120 to 130, but I don't have any 250 HP hero targets to test this on. But it, it'll still like one shot um, uh, these 200 HP bots, which is why I didn't really go into it. Um, I just want to see more of the stuff that like feels different. Symmetra Beam, Secondary Fire now, 120 damage instead of 140. Reasonable. Um, Widowmaker. Okay, so this is the big change. 35 ammo. So where's the drop off? Cause like when you guys, you guys, it said 80. This 80 is really freaking far, man. Like, even if I'm all the way here, I think this is still good. Yeah. I don't know, man. Definitely on Havana 3rd and like Junkertown, it's nerfed, but most other maps, not too big. Because you can see it's 80 meters for most drop off. 10, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters. This is already 40. 50. 50 meters. I don't know. If I'm in this corner, this is like 55 meters away. No change. Honestly, not too bad. Fitzy showed that 55 meters is Havana third, so it's really bad for Junkertown, I guess. Oh yeah, so let's see here. If you're 100% charge, I think you're still good here. It's drop off, yes, yes, yes. Not too bad, honestly speaking. Not too bad. The, the ammo nerf is pretty big though. You gotta make sure you hit your shots. Um, She's still gonna roll on most maps. Junkertown, biggest one. Anna, 12 shots instead of 14. Other than that, not too bad. Okay. Baptiste, though, having 10 healing grenades instead of 12. That was okay. Um, regenerative Burst, though, will not heal as much. Let's see. Come on, bots. Take some more damage. Oh my god, that literally feels like nothing. I mean... It actually feels like nothing. It feels like air. You all look like you needed some healing. Because it's six seventy-five HP over five or six seconds. That's like ten HP a second or twelve HP a second. I don't know, something low. But it's okay because he his healing like burst with fifty each, and he does a lot of damage. I still think he's not bad, but it definitely guts that healing capacity. It's more, it encourages you more to play more DPS style. I actually think this, I actually agree with you. This one will actually go live. Payload heals you for 10 HP per second, by the way. Um, there are no brig nerfs. The Mora nerfs were the also biggest ones. Okay, let me see the regeneration, regeneration rate. Okay, so right now, it expends my juice faster, but let's see the healing. Oh my god, it actually refills really fucking quick now, though. Holy, I'm back to full. Hitbox, though. 37% nerf to the hitbox on the secondary fire. Ah, it's still forgiving. Come on. Anybody with half decent tracking will be alright. This is fine. This is already, like, the best... It's not a lock-on, but this is already the biggest ginormous hitbox that you can have for any sort of beam-based thing. Way better than Sim, way better than Zarya. It's still really forgiving. All right, so let's see the difference between tapping it versus um, versus uh, holding it. Okay, let me see. Watch the Okay. Now I'm going to do the tapping version. Ready? 
Okay, tapping is still significantly faster for um, healing the juice. The scroll wheel trick still works. At the expense of doing less damage though, right? No, I think it's I think it's faster to tap still. Mm. Like I got back to like that much and I killed the person. Now if I do this. Tapping still faster, but you do way less damage. I was only able to do like 40. So against armor, I would probably still use the scroll wheel, like multiple input trick to regain my juice faster. If it was like a fortifying Orisa in front of me and I really needed healing juice, like holding this down against a fortifying Orisa or a nano target with armor is not going to be any sort of significant damage to compete with the a faster regener regeneration rate of your healing juice, which is why it's always like, um, an assessment of which which style to use, right? It was a trade-off, which is why I don't think they've nerfed it after all these years. Can you do Zarya beam against armor? There's no armor targets here. I guess I could change that, but it wouldn't be too big. A uh, toothless gamer. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. I appreciate your support. And I think that's it for the nerfs.